the 1990s, the historian Michael Van was in France researching French colonialism. He was sifting through dusty old documents in the deepest recesses of an ancient library repository when he happened across the file named Destruction of Animals. Rats. Curious as to its contents, he opened it and realised he had chanced upon one of the most hilarious stories in history. In 1897, a plucky, ambitious Paul Dormer landed in Vietnam, having been appointed Governor General of French Indochina. He had plans, in a rather pompous fashion, to civilise Hanoi. To accomplish this grand plan, he first decided to tidy up the streets of the filth that pervaded them, and so he installed a sewer system. He installed one really great one for the French part of Hanoi, and another not so great one for the locals of Hanoi. I know, right? How very colonial of him. What good old Paul hadn't accounted for, though, was that he had now created a safe haven for all the vermin in Hanoi to breed and fester. A free, dark, damp system of pipes that was now filling with rats. After a spot of bubonic plague, he quickly hired some Vietnamese labourers to hunt the rats down and kill them. This effort didn't last long, though, as the small team of hunters were being overwhelmed by the growing population of rats, despite at one time killing 20,000 in a day. Dormer was a smart man, though, and decided to implement a rat bounty to deal with the issue. One cent per rat tail to any dutiful colonist who presented the tail to their local official. If you're enjoying the video, subscribing would be rat-tastic. <laughs> My bad, the, the usual ones are bad, but, but that was just awful. Um, anyway, it was thought that this policy would facilitate some entrepreneurial zeal in the colonists. This it did, but not quite in the way the French had intended. See, the locals caught on to the fact that since the French weren't asking to see the bodies of the rats, they could just cut the tails off and hand them over to the poor counting official without actually having to kill the little creature itself. They could then breed the tailless rat and repeat the process, earning them quite a tidy sum. A number of locals actually made a full-time business out of this venture and set up farms on the outer edges of Hanoi just for the purpose of breeding rats. Others dedicated their time to smuggling rats into Hanoi from outside, just for the purpose of raking in the green. After a certain amount of time, Paul the Fool caught on to what the locals were doing and stopped the policy. By this point though, there were so many rats as a result of his policy that bubonic plague really did break out and around 263 people died. Paul went back to France though and became president in 1931. However, as I'm sure you've probably guessed, he decided to give the tale of the Hanoi Rat Massacre a miss when he was campaigning.